Anakuya Talofa and good morning to you people of the internet. Welcome to the show. Now I have a little question for you. Is there anything that brings back memories for you? Like a song or an activity or anything like that? A few songs, maybe a few activities can remind me of my childhood. Remind me of gaffes, remind me of idiotic activities and other things. So a couple weeks ago I was at Sylvia Park right before my church kids club and I went to the Starbucks so I could get myself a frappuccino and I was always wasting a certain song played The Finger Boys, Kiss When The Sun Don't Shine Finally, oh. this song brought back some awful memories of an activity I had to do in primary school and that many school students in New Zealand throughout the 21st century have been subjected to. I am talking, of course, about judging. For those of you who are lucky enough to escape Jump Jam, or who live outside New Zealand or the area of the Pacific I went to, Jump Jam is a kind of jazzercise for kids. It was started by a guy called Brett Fairweather in 2000 and has become very popular in many primary schools. It was full of a lot of corny music with a small amount of good stuff in there for good measure. I had my first brush with Jump Jam back in 2004. We used to go around for exercise in the morning and one particular targeted class got a Jump Jam session. And they only had one song, the cartoons Witch Doctor. Then came 2005, first year of the middle years. Every middle and senior in Whangarei Primary School had to do jump jams at one stage or another during the morning. And this was particularly annoying for me, especially in the colder months. I mean, do you really want to be out in the cold dancing to some songs when you could be in a nice warm classroom? At first there were only a few songs, I think about four. Of course you had to add in more songs for variety. And this book benefited it and transformed Jump Jam from annoyance into something more of something I detested. But I wanted to go through some of the songs that I remember doing from primary school. I want to go through the good, the what the hell were their thinking choices, and the absolutely bad ones. Well, let's start at the beginning. So let's get started with the good. Yes, for all I made it out to be, I did enjoy a few songs from Jump Jam. First I want to talk about was I'm a Believer by Smash Mouth. Oh, say what you will about Smash Mouth, but I really enjoyed their cover of this song. Probably helped that I was a fan of the Shrek movies too, so yeah. Huh? What are you doing in my swamp? The song had this great bounce of energy. It was a really good choice to adapt. Plus, it really does get you into the mood to exercise. The second song I want to specifically mention was only played once at my school, which was a massive shame because I could easily see it becoming a favourite. And it was quite an iconic song too. It was You Can't Stop the Beat from the Hairspring. Tracy Turnblad! I love this movie and it was an absolutely great choice to adapt. It's got this great dance energy, the lyrics were awesome, and like I'm a Believer, it really did get you into the mood to exercise as well. However, those are just the ones that I specifically remember. There were a few others I enjoyed, like Boikito, and I remember enjoying In the Navy as well. I've added the second category partly because of the song that made me remember this. The downright bizarre. The song Kiss When The Sun Don't Shine 
was a really, really odd choice. Not just for the sexual uh, undertones for it, but I looked at the music video and it was set in Japan for some reason? I only kiss, kiss, kiss when the sun don't shine. Oh, 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 oh. You wanna kiss. After hearing this with the music video, it made me think this song's kind of racist in the way it's sung. I mean, give it a watch. There were also other songs that I'm really surprised made it through. I mean, isn't that a little creepy for 7 to 11 year olds to be dancing to It's Raining Men by the Weather Girls? It's raining men. I mean, yeah, we did only perform it once, but it was still really weird looking back. Then again, the lyrics were kind of corny, so I guess I could give it a pass here. One song in particular really makes me wonder. I mean, how on earth could Brett have listened to this and said, yeah, this is totally appropriate for the kids to dance to? This song was... She Bangs by Ricky Martin. What the hell was he thinking? Yeah, it's totally appropriate for 8 to 11 year old kids to be dancing to a song about a woman seducing and shagging a guy. And the music video. Part of the video has Ricky Martin in a cubicle being stripped by women, by scantily clad women who are also stripping themselves to make love to him. What the heck were they thinking? Oh, I have to ask, who the hell chose those songs that got adapted? Did Brett do it himself? Did he have a team? Regardless, there are some really serious questions that need to be asked. If I learned my kids were dancing to music like that, I would be having a word with the principal. I would not feel comfortable with songs like that being performed by my children. Then again, it's not the only aerobic type thing they've done this to. My good friend Jeffa, in a video about her school experiences, talked about how in P during high school, she had to do a routine to Bad Touch by the Bloodhound Gang. And, and this was at an all-girl Catholic school. Put your hands down my pants, and I'll bet you'll feel nuts. Yes, I'm Cisco, yes, I'm Ebert, and you're getting two thumbs up. And then we come to the absolute worst of Two songs that made me hate doing it. The first, of course, was E.T. Don't get me wrong, I like the movie and all, but I would have to say, this song is one of the worst things to come out of this movie. And that's including the Atari game. Okay, sorry for showing this footage, but it was the only thing I could find relating to it. However, I guess it does emphasize my point. This is a song meant for little kids. For kids in their first years of primary. Not for 7 to 11 year olds. Why? Why? Honestly, this song was not meant for people older than 6. This was intended for kids who were still watching Playhouse Disney. Also, the dancing to the song. How the hell does it help you exercise? If any of you care to explain this to me, please send me a 1,250 word essay with a complete thesis statement and explanation for marking. Thank you, your assistance is kindly appreciated. Then we come to the final song. 
Now, this choice will probably piss off a lot of people because it was a favourite for some. But I absolutely hated doing this song. And that song was... <sighs> the Coconut Song. Shoot. Now some of you are probably getting ready to type hate comments, for example. Oh, why do you hate it? It was such a fun song. Might have been fun to you, but it simply was not fun to me. I can't really give an explanation for it. It was just something I really hated. Then we come to the dancing, which is the main driver of why I hate it this song. During the chorus there were two main dance moves, a kind of a Hawaiian dance and a butt wriggle. I did not like doing this. In fact, I flat out refused to do the dancing during the chorus. Not only did I think it looked idiotic, but I've always had an issue with butt related dance moves. Kind of explains why I hate twerking so much. In fact, it was so bad, my teacher Mr. Ruddle had to come up right next to me and force me to do it. Yep, it got that bad. It also didn't help that he was a friend of my mother either. But thankfully, I finished primary school and have had no further experiences with jump jams since starting intermediate. Which I am very, very thankful for. As I said in my Right in a Childhood episode on Lazy Town, I've got nothing against people who want us to maintain a healthy diet and exercise. But honestly, I just see Jump Jam as an excuse for our teachers to get some embarrassing mementos of us for when we eventually leave. But where do you stand on Jump Jam? Are you in my camp? Or were you one of the people who enjoyed it? Let's have a discussion down below in the comments. Well, thanks for watching guys, and until next time, goodbye. Hide it up.